the U.S. military has registered another failure. No, they've not lost another war. It's about their latest hypersonic missile test. It was a dud. The test took place on the 13th of March. The U.S. Air Force was testing what's called the ARRW, the Air Launched Rapid Response Weapon. It's a hypersonic missile made by Lockheed Martin. After the test, the Air Force released a statement, and this is what the statement said. The test met several of the objectives, and the team engineers and testers are collecting data for further analysis. Sounds promising, right? This was on the 24th of March, the statement came. But it turns out the Americans left out some details, details like the fact that the test had failed. This is what reports say. The weapon failed to transmit in-flight performance data. Now, this data is crucial to understanding how the weapon flies. And if this data is missing, then the test is basically a failure. And it's another setback for America in the hypersonic missile race, especially for the ARRW project. Because this is not the first failure. Lockheed's missiles have failed before, at least thrice. They suffered booster test failures. And production keeps getting delayed because of this. The U.S. had initially planned to deploy the ARRW this year, but it seems unlikely. Of course, this is not the only U.S. hypersonic missile program. They have others for the U.S. Navy and the Army, too. And the Air Force, too, has another program, a hypersonic missile being produced by Raytheon. But this failure is still important. You see, the U.S. is struggling to catch up with Russia and China. Both are said to be far ahead in terms of hypersonic weapons. Russia even used some against Ukraine recently. And before we continue, let's also understand what these weapons really are. A hypersonic missile is one that can travel five times at the speed of sound or faster. If a weapon is faster than the speed of sound, but not hypersonic, it's called a supersonic weapon. Now, hypersonic missiles are fast. They're also maneuverable, meaning you can control their trajectory. And that's why these weapons are part of the new arms race. They can beat missile defense systems. Let's go back a bit in history to understand this. In the 20th century, the major world powers were building nuclear weapons, and this race was especially close between the US and the Soviet Union. So obviously, countries had to build systems to counter the nukes. They developed advanced air defense systems, like the American Patriot missiles or the Russian S-400s. The U.S. in particular boasts of extremely efficient air defense networks. Its adversaries then started building something to counter this. Enter hypersonic missiles. They can evade patriots and other air defenses. They can carry nuclear warheads. Soon a hypersonic arms race began. It's still a very small club. India is developing hypersonic weapons. So are Japan, Germany, Israel, Iran and North Korea. These weapons are extremely expensive. Each missile costs anywhere between 15 to 18 million dollars. So this cannot really be the future of war. A war, especially a long drawn one, will rely on conventional weapons, the kind that are cheap and easy to use. Like we're, we're seeing in Ukraine, Kiev keeps asking for artillery rounds, for tanks and jets. These are weapons that have been around forever. They're reliable and old fashioned. Hypersonic missiles serve a very different purpose. Deterrence. It's like having nuclear weapons. They deter the enemy. They reduce the risk of an attack. So America's failure to catch up with China and Russia may not be the worst thing, really. But the U.S. being the U.S. is not satisfied. They want to make sure that American military superiority is never in doubt.